Aloha all. I want to introduce to you uh, someone all, we all in Hawaii know uh, really well, especially ukulele makers, but for you out there who don't know, this is the music guy, Mike Maratani right here. And he's responsible to setting up this awesome display of vintage ukuleles. Mike is uh, one of the most eminent collectors uh, of uh, ukuleles here in Hawaii, I would say worldwide. Uh, so his knowledge of ukuleles and his experience with ukuleles is second to none. So, Mike, has any words you want to say? Go oh, ahead. Let's keep on ooking. <laughs> I'm actually sick, so I can really hardly talk today. So. <laughs> Very good. Um, what we have before you is, for the first time, we have a almost a private uh, showing of uh, two of Hawaii's uh, most renowned collectors of vintage ukuleles, uh, uh, Mike Aratani and uh, James Ko Koichi. Um, and what we have here is ukuleles that go back uh, in the early 1920s. We have an Akai Soprano over here. Uh, we have a uh, Martin, and uh, C.F. Martin if he's in the early 20s. This is just when he started actually uh, getting, cashing in on the ukulele craze that happened in the uh, Pan Pacific Festival. That was like 1915, and uh, Martin stopped making uh, a lot of the productions of guitars and mandolins to jump into the ukulele market, which uh, uh, really created a financial bonus for the Martin Company. This is the Kamaaina family, Mossman family, a Mossman ukulele. Uh, Pretty vintage, pretty rare. Again, we have a uh, Kalai, uh, a Kalai pineapple. Uh, Kalai was a player in Hawaii, uh, and, and, and using his name, uh, a factory came out and, and did a line of ukuleles uh, using his name. Uh, you can see uh, in California, uh, this, this guy, he's an unknown Hawaiian maker, but he has a very vintage hourglass shape with the uh, rope bindings and the rope rosette, which is pretty typical of the custom bindings of the uh, uh, older makers. Uh, so this uh, rope binding look is, is very classic. Yeah. Mr. Kumalai was uh, actually his ukulele was a hit of the Pan Pacific uh, Fair in 1915, and uh, he was the first to actually uh, apply to the territory of Hawaii to be able to use the royal seal as part of his uh, design decal, and there it is on the top, Hawaii. I think right now the old St. Louis uh, alumni is the site of the uh, Kumalai's actual home. And then again, here we got Sam Kamaka's uh, pineapple ukulele. This is a mahogany in the 1920s, and uh, this was one of the first of its kind in, in this particular shape. This instrument with, with the hourglass shape, they call it a machete. Uh, what's important about that is that this probably predates uh, the 1900s. So this is an early rendition of what the Portuguese actually brought to Hawaii, and uh, which probably is one of the origins of the actual ukulele shape. that Gibson is not making ukuleles, uh, their older ukuleles are worth more, and, and this is an example. Again, you have another Ernest Ka'ai. Ka'ai was an awesome ukulele player in his time, and uh, one of his ukuleles, a deluxe model, uh, pretty rare, 1500. Now, this is pretty unusual because um, if you know your ukulele history, uh, the three people who are uh, credited with starting the ukulele would be Jose de Espiritu Santo, which is one, uh, Manuel Nunez uh, is the other, 
And uh, these are the people, and Augustus Diaz is the third, but this is an original um, Jose Espiritu Santo, so that's why the $15,000 price tag. Yeah. And then again, you got the Kamaka again, extra fancy, a lot of inlay everywhere, rope binding, uh, mother of pearl and abalone on, on both ends of the uh, fingerboard and body. And again, as a collector, at least $6,000 uh, for, for one of these. So. so we have, again, uh, Jimmy Kujiro and uh, Mike Aracani, Aracani to thank for setting up this kind of display for us. Aloha, uh, for all you YouTube watchers, uh, I would like to introduce the Roy over here, who uh, works with Ukulele Pua Pua, and they've set up this booth here, uh, tables of uh, carrying the products that they, of ukuleles that they have. Ken Nishimoto, the owner of uh, Ukulele Pua Pua, has done a tremendous amount of uh, goodwill uh, for the ukulele in particular. Uh, he's always present at any ukulele function, uh, lending support and uh, uh, participation.